वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू गाइड यू फॉर स्टील कैलकुलेशन अबाउट आर सी सी स्लेप गाइज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ डाइग्राम फॉर आर सी सी स्लेप विच साइज इज सिक्स मीटर बाय फोर मीटर द विथ इज फोर मीटर एंड लेंथ इज सिक्स मीटर इफ यू अर्न यू ऑन दिस चैनल सो यू मे सब्सक्राइब द चैनल and like this video and if you have already subscribed the channel so you may like this video because this is very interesting video for you people about steel calculation first of all guys you can see this is long span which is 6 meter the next one is shorter span which is 4 meter so shorter span is used for distribution bars if you see this is shorter span so when we are placing the steel reinforcement on this side so this is distribution bars long span is used for main bars if you see long span is 6 meter when we placed the steel reinforcement that is called main bar so the main bars should be placed uh before distribution bars okay so it should be provide under the distribution bars next guys spacing of main bars and distribution bars are 0.15 meter center to center this is the spacing of main bars and distribution bars guys you can see these dotted lines can show you the floor beam and these red lines can show you the main bars and distribution bars so main bars and distribution bars spacing is same which is 0.5 meter or you can say 6 inches center to center next guys let me find the total numbers of main bars that how much steel numbers are required on this long span this is called main bars as i discussed before shorter span is used for distribution bar but longer span is used for main bar so this is longer span so how much or how many numbers of steels required for this longer span so that is uh, find find total numbers of main bar so long span guys you can see this is long span divided by spacing where the spacing is 0.15 meter plus 1 okay so when you do its calculation so 6 meter is a longer span divided by 0.15 plus 1 so we required 41 numbers of steel rods for this longer span now let me find the total numbers for distribution bars so guys distribute for distribution bars we are using shorter span so shorter span divided by spacing plus 1 if you see shorter span is 4 meter divide by spacing center to center which is 0.15 meter you can see clearly here so we required 27.66 steel rods so say 28 steel rods are required for distribution bars now guys here length of main bars so what is the length of main bars guys you can see main bars we have 41 numbers look at here main bars we have 21 numbers and each main bar length is 4 meter if you see guys this is 4 meter because longer uh, shorter span is used for main bars so for the one numbers of steels required multiply length is 4 meter so the total length for main bars are required which is 164 meter next length of distribution bars so total distribution bars we require 28 now each length is 6 meter because this is distribution bars guys you can see these are distribution bars so therefore we required 168 meter now let me find the total total length of steel required for our cc slab so main bars plus distribution bars 164 bars plus 168 bars so therefore we required 332 meter steel length for this rcc slab to covered by steel reinforcement which spacing is 0.5 by 0.5 meters center to center now we can use the formula to find weight of steel the formula is d square divided by 162 remember guys this d square should be in millimeter so first of all i will tell you we are using here 12 millimeter die of steel rod for main bars and distribution bars the die is 12 millimeter okay for main bars and distribution bars so right here 12 multiply 12 that's why because this is d square so d square divided by 162 so when you do its calculation so for 12 mm uh, die of steel rod so 1 kg weight is 0.88 kg because 12 multiply 12 divided by 162 so you will get the value this is the unit weight of steel for 12 mm 0.88 kg so if you have 10 mm if you have 16 mm you can use the same formula by which you can find the unit weight of steel for per meter so now guys 
the unit weight is 0.88 kg per meter so the total length is 332 meter for main bars and distribution bars so therefore 0.88 multiply 332 meter so therefore we require 292.16 kg steel is required so this is the total weight of steel required for this rcc slab which size is 4 by 6 meter but we don't have any crank bar or extra steel rods so extra steel rods we can use for uh, two-way slab that's why because at the end of the beam or at the end of the support we have uh, negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment we are providing crank bar or extra steel rod so when you are finding the extra steel rod so each bar should be l by 4 or total length divided by l by 4 then you can get the extra steel rods but this is the simple way to find the weight of steel in rcc slab especially for main bars and distribution bars thanks for watching See you in next video. Goodbye.